If you are a man looking to start off the new year in style but don't know where to begin, help is here. Joining me now is Alan Flusser. He's the author of Dressing the Man, and he has some tips for us on how to look your best in 2003. It's good to have you here. Nice to be here. Happy Thanks New Year. And to you. We should say you are the one who dressed Michael Douglas in Wall Street. That's true. I, I plead guilty. And you <laughs> have written, this is your fourth book. My fourth book. And uh, yes. Uh, the other books were, were kind of leading up to this. This is my final treatise on the subject. Now you give uh, specific examples, diagrams almost, that can help people with this. So let's go through some of those and you can tell sure. us some of the things people should watch out for. Right. I, I'm basically a person who thinks information is the most important thing about dressing. Style has something to do with it. This is a good example. Uh, this is uh, an issue of proportion and that the shoulder, the width of the shoulder, uh, or your head determines to a certain degree the width of the shoulder. The shoulder is too large on a jacket, it can make your head look too small. Or conversely, if it's too narrow, the shoulder width, it can make your head look too large. So one of the things men have to know is the proper width of shoulder in order to choose clothes that uh, transcend fashion and continue to flatter them as long as their head remains the same shape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. A trout, well this is about, a little bit about trousers. One key thing is you need to wear the trouser on your natural waist as opposed to low on your waist. And the crease of the trouser should kind of bisect the knee, which uh, if it doesn't, and usually it, it, if it errs, it goes to the outside of the knee, it makes the trouser look, uh, your, your, the front of you look too wide, which most people would like to avoid. And then these are three different kind of styles of wearing cup, uh, wearing the bottoms, whether it's cuffed um, and breaks a little or uh, is, has no cuff or the mid-Atlantic solution where it just sits above the, the shoe. And the crease hint can be good for women as well. Absolutely. All right, let's go to this one right here. Um, this is a little bit about how, uh, in, in dressing down, uh, uh, how to uh, coordinate a, a, a shirt and a, and, a, and a blazer. One of the things someone should know uh, is how to wear a blazer and if you wear a, a dark shirt with it, it makes it look more modern and more kind of young uh, as opposed to a, a contrasted shirt which gives it a more traditional look. All right, and the last one I think we have is uh, the gray suit. Right. One of the basic, uh, you know, keys of a man's wardrobe is a good gray suit and a gray suit is something that is uh, easy to push more formal or, or less formal. And these are three different ways of wearing a gray suit without a tie, from uh, you know dressing down in the office with a button-down shirt to even a t-shirt, and then in the evening wearing a scarf around your neck with all with the same suit. You can have a lot of different looks. Yeah, uh, I, I think that's important. Otherwise, you don't get to use your wardrobe as, you know, as, uh, and, and make it as versatile as it can be. Some great hints. Ellen Flesser, thanks so much for coming in. Thank Again, the book much. is called Dressing the Man. Thanks for having me. Thanks.